That might be Ash's most lopsided loss ever. What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode number 74. In the last episode, it was a very Team Rocket focused episode where they're searching for a Z ring so they can use Marini's newly learned knockoff in their dark Z move. Acerola and her siblings go to look for the greedy Lapu, which turns out to be a Gengar that they read about in a book who's stealing everybody's stuff and winds up stealing Team Rocket's Dark Z Crystal. After a fight against the Gengar, Nanu gives Team Rocket a Z Ring and we're able to see Marini use its first Black Hole Eclipse. And lastly, we see Acerola's Mimikyu giving Jesse a Mimikyuium Z. So the last episode was quite packed with stuff and as we said, I think we're coming out of the filler season and getting into some story things and this episode was certainly on that, though it was back turned into the regular focus. If you checked out this episode, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below. Let me know what you, th what you think about where we're headed from here, what you think is going to happen from here. Let me know if I missed anything. Now at the end of the last episode, we saw that Ash was on a boat on his way to Ula Ula Island to take on the Grand Trial, and that's exactly where this episode starts off. Ash, Toracat, and Lycanroc are doing push-ups on the boat as they're approaching um, Ula Ula Island. And we have a flashback and we see that Kukui told the class about this Pokemon League th that he's going to be creating. We see Kiawe and his Pokemon fired up. We see Ash and his Pokemon also fired up. And Ash is determined to do well on this grand trial that he's heading to. That's where the intro runs and the episode title is says, this nasty old man is the island Kahuna. Dang, why you gotta do Nanu like that? He didn't do anything to anybody. But it actually starts out with Jesse admiring the Z ring and the Mimikyu EMZ out on the dock of Ula Ula Island. And they're like trying to figure out exactly how to use it. And Mimikyu has this reaction and notices that uh, Pikachu is coming up. And they see that Ash is coming up and they're like, that's weird. Where's the rest of everybody? So Team Rocket is like, wait, if everyone else isn't around and we have the Z power, we can probably defeat him now. And it shows their base where Beware is still being fooled by the robots upstairs on a looping audio. So he won't be a factor in this yet again. Now we see Nanu walking, yawning, and he's trying to go take a nap somewhere. And Officer Jenny and the Red Oracorio comes up and they're like, thank you for all your hard work. You are patrolling, aren't you? You're going patrolling, right? You're not going somewhere to take a nap. To which Nanu is like, oh, uh, of, of, of course I'm patrolling. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot, some, I, I forgot something at, my, uh, at the police station. And as he goes back, he walks into all of his Meowth, who we saw in the last episode, and they're hungry. He goes to feed them, which he gives them like this food that comes out of a, uh, a Litten box kind of a weird little little um, detail that they decided to add in there. He uh, The phone winds up ringing right after he has uh, fed his Meowths and he answers the phone and it's Giovanni on the other end. And Giovanni is asking about Lord Light, but Nanu takes a second and he's like, I don't know what Lord Light is. What's this Lord Light? And you can hear Ash outside. Ash has arrived at this police station, so Nanu hangs up, much to Giovanni's dismay. Nanu walks outside and sees that all of the Meowth have attacked Ash. They've all gathered around him and have buried him under themselves. And Poipol launches his little ink, his little paint onto them and gets their charm dirty, which causes this Meowth to go and hit, try to hit Poipol and I don't think Poipol has been hit once because Poipol just avoids it. He's just like, nope, you ain't touching me. Don't touch me, fool. Now, Ash says that he's looking for the island Kahuna and Nanu's like, oh, uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's one of my coworkers. I guess as Nanu says, yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, one of our, he's one of my coworkers. Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back later. 
It's, and he points out how Ash has some rare Pokemon. He's got a rare Lycanroc. He's got this purple pink thing to which Ash introduces Poipole. Um, and Nanu's like, hey, you know what? While you're waiting for the Island Kahuna, go ahead and take care of these Meowth. I'm sure they're gonna fall asleep. You know, I'm sure they're gonna fall asleep soon. Just play with them and uh, I'm sure the Island Kahuna will be back soon. And he leaves. And so Ash starts playing and at first it's fun and all the other Pokemon are involved. And after some time, all the Pokemon have passed out and Ash is just sitting there and he's just like, He's just sitting there motionless for an abnormally long time. And Acerola shows up looking for Nanu. And this is when Ash comes up. He's like, well, this person said that there was another officer. And Acerola is like, okay, you got fooled because Nanu, the island kahuna, is the only one that works here. Uh, Rotom is having trouble taking pictures of this floating Mimikyu. We saw the uh, we saw Acerola's shiny Mimikyu last time. Um, and we found out that it's a ghost, and that's exactly what Acerola says when Rotom is like, I was taking these pictures and it didn't come out and I couldn't see anything, this is weird. And well, it's a ghost. So Acerola takes Ash back to the library, which isn't her home, but it is where she works and where she spends most of her time. And Ash's Pokemon, Acerola's siblings, start playing around with each other. And Poipo is having a great time. He's looking at all these books and he seems amazed. And then his eyes focus on the book that's open on the table. And it turns out to be a book about Ultra Necrozma. And you see Ultra Necrozma, you see Sogaleo, you see Lunala, and Acerol is like, yeah, that's the Lord Light. Flashback to when Nanu was on the phone with Giovanni asking about Lord Light. Is Giovanni gonna get involved with this? Are we gonna see a bigger Team Rocket thing in, like, in addition to the Ultra Recon thing? This is really shaping up to be big. Let me know your thoughts. I don't really have any thoughts just yet, considering I just watched the episode, but let me know your thoughts down below on where you think Giovanni might play because he's already looking for Lord Light, and we're going to talk more about that as we keep going. Now, Acerola tells the story, um, this story that the book is talking about, involving Sogalea, Lunala, and Ultra Necrozma, and the story says that when Alola was first born, there was no light to it. And these three Pokemon, Solgalea, Lunala, and Ultra Necrozma, appeared over it and showed, shone light over Alola for days, causing the region to be born with intense light. She says that Nanu thinks that this Lord Light could be an Ultra Beast. So Team Rocket is listening outside and they're like, oh my gosh, we've got to report this to Giovanni. He'll be happy to hear about this. Later that night, Ash is like, I've got to go check the police station. Maybe Nanu's back. And Ace Roll is like, wait, 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 wait. You don't need to do that. I've got something. And the word that that showed was Kendama. And it's this little toy that it seems to be like a fidget toy that Nanu likes to play with whenever he's sitting down. We've seen him do it over the last couple episodes. And right as they're talking about that, Nanu walks in the door and is like, hey, Ace Roll, did you take my thing again? And this is where Ash is like, hey, 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 I want to take on the grand trial. Like, let me take up the, take, let me take, take, let me take on the grand trial. And Lycan Rock walks up and he looks very motivated to battle uh, against Nanu. And Nanu looks at them and he's like, eh, go back to Mele Mele Island. You're not ready for my trials. And he tries to leave and Ash is like, I, no, I'm ready. And Acerola is like, hey, give him a chance. And Acerola and Mimikyu start glaring at him, glaring at him. And eventually, Nanu's like, fine, sure, we will do a pre-trial. Acerola suggests doing a pre-trial to see if Ash is actually ready for the trial. And outside, the pre-trial takes place. And as I said at the very, very beginning of this video, this was the most lopsided loss that I've ever, that I can remember Ash taking. Let me know if there might be another one. We might do, when we start doing top fives, one of the ones on the list might be top five Ash losses because this was definitely one of them. Nanu sends out his crocodile, to which Ash recognizes right away. Thank God you kind of have one of these things. I'm so happy that like, he sent it out and Ash was like, oh look, it's a crocodile. And that's when, uh, you know, Rotom still did his thing because Rotom's Rotom. 
it, he's Rotom is educating the people watching if they don't know who a crocodile was because you know you really didn't have to watch the black and white anime series because it was kind of garbage but that's a, that's a story for another day but crocodile comes out and crocodile's intimidate ability immediately works on lycanroc and he starts to get angry and as they start the battle, Crocodile again makes Lycanroc even more angry. It was like a double intimidate happening, which I mean sort of makes sense. You know, it does not every ability has to be exactly like it is in game, but it seems like he was really getting him getting him good. But Lycanroc goes for a rock throw and Crook Crook just uses his tail and knocks it away and none of Lycanroc's attacks literally nothing does any damage. Uh, but Crocodile uses a sand tomb, he uses a mud slap, he's using all these kind of moves just to frustrate Lycanroc, and Lycanroc's rage takes over. His eyes turn red, and he goes blindly attacking. He's not listening to anything that Ash is saying, and Nanu's like, hey, Crocodile, just, just let him attack you. And this Lycanroc, I mean, he's biting him all over the place, and eventually, Nanu goes, all right, Crocodile, counter. And as soon as he says it, Lycanroc goes flying. Crocodile uses a crunch attack and it's over. Ash runs up and I don't remember a time that I've seen Ash look like this. You tell me a time when Ash just looked absolutely hopeless after a battle. I mean, he got absolutely smacked up. And Nanu's like, nah. Go back to Melee Melee. Just like I said, you're not ready for this trial. And Ash goes, no, we're not going anywhere. We're gonna stay here, we're gonna train, and we're gonna battle you again. That night, later that night at Acerola's, um, Ash is watching most of his Pokemon eat, but Lycanroc is sitting off by himself, to which Ash joins and he's like, are you upset? So am I, you know, we weren't able to do anything. We were literally not able to do anything. We've got to do better. We've got to come up with a way to beat this guy. And he goes to Ace Roll and he says, hey, where can we train? And Ace Roll is like, well, hey, you could go see Tapu Bulu. You should go see Tapu Bulu. And Rotom's like, oh, we've met Tapu Bulu before. So they decide to set off for Tapu Bulu. And that's where the episode ends. So it, it was an extremely, it, Exciting episode and now we got to see Nanu in action. Crocodile is my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. He's one of maybe two Pokemon from the entire generation that I liked. But man, we saw Ash get absolutely rocked and we know that he's going to see Tapu Bulu. Now, typically I do a, on the next episode, I do a little preview based on the preview at the end of the episode. But as I've explained, you know, we're doing these animes, anime reviews to get caught up one day after another. The anime review, oh, actually the anime review for this week will definitely be up tomorrow. So you can look forward to five anime reviews this week to get ourselves all back on track. If you're checking them all out, thank you so much. Again, if you watched this episode, let me know what your thoughts were in the comments down below. Things are, things are shaping up. There was a lot you could take out of this episode. I mean, there's the Mimikyu, Mimikyu EMZ thing going on. There's obviously Ash's Grand Trial. There's the Ultra Necrozma thing. There's the Poi Pole. It's like they keep poking at the Poi Pole thing. So let me know your thoughts down below and we'll see you tomorrow for another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.